What's up guys, Commando Santa here and welcome back to Buffalo Valley. So today we are, whoa, hold on a second. Can we watch that again? Man, I don't know what I was doing there. Probably thinking really hard about something. <laughs> That's usually what I do when I think about something, but I never seen myself do that before. I don't even remember doing that. You know, this was a week ago though, but boy howdy, that was... That's really funny, actually. <laughs> oh well. So let's uh let's actually get into what we're doing today. So uh, maybe I should redo my intro. I don't know. Oh, let's just keep going with what we're doing today. Uh, so we are working more on the um yeah the big lodge that we were working on last episode. And uh, so this one I didn't really get into heavy detailing. This was more I don't know. I spent a lot of time on just kind of like the windows. And doing a heck of a lot more with just kind of the general layout of it because after I finished the windows you guys might actually notice this as well maybe you notice this when I notice this uh, I was not super happy with how kind of plain the front looked and also I was running into the trouble where for some reason um, translating objects on a certain plane did not like to work correctly uh, so I would like I think anything that was connected to the windows if I took that as a whole assembly and I moved it, like, let's say on the X, to, X axis, it would just kind of sink into the side of the building. And I, I thought it was supposed to be relative, but maybe something was screwed up on the windows and they weren't relative. They weren't, like, perfectly snapped to the X axis or something. I, I have no clue. So every time I tried to move the, an assembly with a window, they would, like, slowly sink into the building and it would just look like crap. And that actually made me redo it a few times before I got it and you guys are getting the final cut of that happening so it was just all in all kind of frustrating I don't know why it did that and I wasn't on like I was on what is it the local grid or whatever it's not the world axes it's the local axes based off the object itself and not the world but I don't know I got to work though after a few little headaches with it but other than that yeah we're gonna we made it work uh, so the things I also added in this is, well, yeah, just, just like uh, what I was saying, the general layout of the entirety of the building, and we didn't get heavily into detail. I did a lot of detail for the restaurant, and everyone seemed to really enjoy it, which is fantastic. I got a lot of good feedback for it, but um, yeah, we didn't really get into much detailing. Next episode should be the final episode with this, but I guess before I get into the rest of the episode, I kind of want to... Uh, uh, talk about the new update. So, uh, by the time you watch this video, the new update, I forget what it is. It's, uh, what is it? 1.4 or something? Um, no, 1.2. That's it. 1.2. And, um, that comes up with a lot of really cool stuff. A few new rides, a lot of new pieces, and by far my most favorite thing is, and a lot of people's favorite things is pretty much uh, no collision with you can set something with no collision now when I recorded this episode I was not in this was before the update when I recorded this episode so I'm not sure if the update broke anything yet I have yet to look at it I it shouldn't have but just in case we will cross that bridge when we get when we get to it I guess but I, I think we should be good um, I'm kind of miff that you know I didn't learn about the uh, no colliding stuff until after I recorded last episode because we could have made a railroad crossing. I mean, I, we still could, but I'm really happy with the way my tunnel turned out with the, where the train is. But we definitely might go back and do a few things. And I might do, I don't know, I might do something where I go back to Boulder Rapids and kind of redo a lot of the stuff because now I can actually sink the rocks into the actual uh, river rapids part of it and it'll actually look really cool instead of just having like the kind of plastic looking outside river I can actually make it look like you're going down rocks and it, it's gonna look great I can't wait to do that and also with roller coaster wise we can actually make our own supports and stuff for when we want to because there's a few things there are just a few things that I don't like about the wooden roller coaster supports which I might do myself at some point because Especially on that big arch that we have that goes over the front, the the top of Ishway, over the entrance. 
we could be doing that a little bit differently. I kind of want a little bit more solid wood pieces because it would just look better to have some nice big thick wooden logs and stuff holding it up, you know? Because I, I, I found the the normal wooden roller coaster supports, they're, some of them just seem a little thin to me. I'm not entirely sure if that's just me or I don't know. I, I don't know. It just it bothers me a little bit how thin they are at some points. Sometimes they look good. Maybe I'm just worrying too much about it. But So I might actually go back and possibly redo the supports over the arch because that's really all that matters because... If we had, if I use those like really nice thick wooden logs, like wooden support logs, like you have for the supports for uh, the the lift for Boulder Rapids, that would look really nice, I think. But we'll see. We will see. Uh, another thing I wanted to talk about with the new rides is I want to get your guys' opinion on the new rides that came out. So I'm thinking of what to possibly add. I'm not sure. If go-karts will fit the theme, but I really want to have go-karts because go-karts are really cool. Uh, so we will we'll see. I'll definitely let me know, let me know what you guys think about possibly go-karts. But what I really want to know is what roller coaster you would like to see added. I know we were talking about possibly another uh, another roller coaster in the comments. I was talking with someone in the comments about another roller coaster, and if I was going to do like a steel one, and. I originally was talking about the American Arrow, and that would probably do look really cool. But, but, now we have the, uh, the boomerang coasters. So the, the reverse vertical lift, and then they do the, the inversions, and they come back to the station. I think that might look really good. But, I am torn between that and the new, um, I forget what it is, Iron something it's the new swinging roller coaster you know like the cars that are swinging from the upside down track um yeah it's just the vertical swinging roller coaster i think that would look really fantastic if we put it in the have it like go in between trees and everything and just kind of like a, a dense forested area i think that would look really cool swinging in between the trees but so let me know what you guys think about adding some of the new rides uh for sure uh, one of the other things I wanted to touch upon, we are at episode 18, and because episode 18 is such a huge milestone, um, it really isn't, but uh, this is mostly just because of the new update that comes out. Um, Planet Coaster right now is on sale, but I know it's on sale, and it might still be too expensive for some of you guys. So for those of you that don't have it, or for anyone who's really interested, maybe picking up for a friend or whatever, um, I'm going to do a giveaway for... I'm going to get, I have two copies of Planet Coaster that I want to give away to you guys. So make a comment in the comments and I'm going to do it based off comments, I think. That seems like the only logical way unless I use like some other website, but this is pretty much exclusive to you guys. I'm not going to really let, I'm not going to post about this giveaway anywhere else. It's pretty much if you watch this video and you've listened to this point, you're going to know about this giveaway. So definitely post a comment and I'm going to do a random, I'm going to take a, um, all the comments that people have commented, throw them into one big list, and I'll probably pick the pick two at ra random, and then I'll I'll contact you guys further for and possibly send it out. Uh, I'm thinking uh, I'll have the deadline from the time this video comes out to next Wednesday. Um, I reserve the right to extend that a little bit, depending on how many people or whatever. But this is for you guys. You guys are my biggest fans. I hope. Uh, I this is for partly me. I really appreciate everything you guys do and all the support I've been getting over the past few months. It's I look forward to doing this uh, all the time when I come home. You guys are you you guys are the best. You're my own little community. I love it. Um, so this is me giving back to you guys and I just showing my appreciation for everything you guys do and all the support you guys give me. So and because of the new update and I want you guys to play it because this game is fantastic if you don't have it or you can give it away to your friends or whatever so yeah so now I've gotten all emotional I'm gonna get back to what we're working on uh, so uh, wow we got a little far so we are currently doing um, yeah so like any hotel I kind of got bored with the front of it well not with any hotel but I didn't want it to be super plain some hotels you know you got like like a nice big uh, tall facade and it's just kind of a rectangular 
kind of hotel looking thing. I want a few offshoots because this is going to be like the center of attention for a lot of people coming to, to Buffalo Valley. I mean, a lot of people are going to stay here. The nightlife around here is going to be pretty much in, into the hours of the night. So we have the restaurant. And we talked about in the last episode, the restaurant's going to be uh, like really nice, fine table service at night. And, you know, like a nice kind of like hangout spot for lunches and stuff where it's not going to be super fancy, but I figured nighttime would be a little bit more fancy. Now, over here on this side, which is going to be the right side of the hotel lodge, as long as this video is synced up correctly, um, I added a another kind of little overlook area. And this has the ability to look over at Boulder Rapids, just kind of like the ending there. And it's another little place to hang out. This isn't going to be a restaurant per se. This is going to just be like probably... If you guys know what I'm talking about, Adirondack chairs. If you know what I mean when I say Adirondack chairs, they're like the really nice wooden chairs that you like lean back super far and they're super comfortable and they're made out of wood. I think I'm gonna add, I'm gonna make my own of those and put those over here and a little bit to table. So you can like, I'm guessing behind that door there, there would be like a full service bar. And you know, you can get your, you know, your, your, your mixed drinks or a nice like local beer on tap and you'd take your drink and you'd go out into that little patio section you'd hang out with your bros talk about cool things like like sports and roller coasters and go-karts and then you just kind of hang out you know and you do cool things so that's what I was thinking <laughs> so yeah so that's just kind of you know my idea for what's going to be going on over there other than that, I added uh, balconies for a few of the rooms, so I figured the top floor would be more of like the the hoity-toity expensive suites almost, and the, I figured the rooms would be a little bit bigger on the top floor, and you would also get a balcony where you can come and sit and look over the water, watch the sun rise because you can't really watch the sun set, because I placed this in a terrible spot in all honesty. I actually kind of rotated a little bit in between the episodes just to I, just to get some more sunlight on the front because the whole front is shaded after like 10 o'clock p.m. and it just looks like crap. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> just because I, I, I didn't really think about until I was like at this point lighting wise if I was using daylight it doesn't really look that good because there isn't much natural light coming to the front of it after a certain hour. So, I don't know. I, it, it'll be okay, I guess. I, I rotate a little bit, so you at least get a good amount of sunlight before everything starts to be shadowed until about, like, 11 o'clock. And then noon on, every, this whole side of the building's just shadowed, so we'll kind of role-play it and think about, you know, like, hey, it's going to be, like, all nice and sunny on this side, like, all the time because that's how the world works or something. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah. That's just kind of so. I, so I decided to make some patios so you can hang out there, you know, grab a bottle of wine, sit with your significant other, overlook the the beautiful lake, and look at all the people screaming on the rides, and just a just a beautiful time, you know. I I'm I'm jealous. I wish I was there. In all honesty, maybe maybe I will. Maybe we'll have to just build this and for real. I don't know, but yeah. Um. Now what we're working on is going to be uh, the boardwalk. So if you remember in previous episodes, which I say a lot of things in previous episodes, it has been, we've been doing this a while. Uh, I kind of wanted a, I kind of wanted to add another boardwalk because I, I, I thought the boardwalk looked absolutely fantastic where we added it earlier. So I kind of wanted another one. And what, what better place than to put it in front of the hotel or the lodge cabin thing? So, I figured it would look nice over here. I couldn't really get the path to work, and I'm not sure if paths were improved with the new update, so I'm actually gonna have to go back and see if they did or not. Otherwise, it looks nice, but it's not gonna be super practical. I doubt people are gonna go out there, but it looks really nice, and that's that's really the point we're trying to get here. So, yeah, I added uh, some nice lighting features and, you know, kind of like a, almost like a median to separate the boardwalk and the actual path up to the hotel lodge. So it looks really nice. Uh, I'm super happy with the way it came out. And yeah, that's pretty much all that happened this episode. So 
I'm going to leave that here. So don't forget to comment on the video if you guys want to get entered into the little giveaway for Planet Coaster. That's going to probably end next Wednesday. And let me know what you guys think. Um, definitely give me some suggestions. I always love suggestions. Hit that like button if you really enjoy what I'm doing here. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. I do weekly videos and we're pretty fun, I guess. If you can get over my, you know, lovely voice. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.